fuck. Keely, you just fucked up. You done crashed a cartel jet ski. <laughs> what up, y'all? I got a story time for y'all real quick. Don't mind. I'm talking a little bit funny because I got some dental work done yesterday. But y'all know I went to Guatemala. I hope you watched part one. If you didn't, uh, what are you waiting on? And you should also have your post notifications turned on. But anywho, I stopped part one video because this is the story that I want to tell y'all because I really like to put things in order for the way that they happen. Like when I make my videos, I be like, okay, but did this happen first or did this happen first? So cool. We get to the park, right? It's really like a lake. Like people go swimming there, all type of stuff like that. This was my first time actually like being on a jet ski. Never did it before, never was on it before, nothing like that. So Darlin was like, let's rent a jet ski. I'm like, okay, cool. So before we got there, Darlin was like, okay, look, I'ma tell you something, but don't be scared. I said, what? She said, the people who rent these jet skis, they part of the cartel. <laughs> the fuck the fuck she like no it's cool it's cool like they run them all the time you know it's cool you just pay for them you you, you take your time and then you bring it you bring it back when your time over with i'm in another country we gonna live for the experience so i'm on it and i'm thinking doing my little laps and shit i'm doing donuts i'm standing up twerking on this shit i'm like okay how fast can it go you know, I'm trying to figure it out. Now, I had a hard time getting it started, so whatever. But then they started it for me, and you don't sit me on about my way. I'm riding this damn jet ski, right? The guy, he whistles, like, you know, where are we? So I'm thinking, like, all right, it's time for me to come back in. I really thought he was talking to me. So I see him doing like this. So I'm like, okay, in my mind, I don't know how long I've been out here. So I'm like, okay, you know, my time up. Let me come back in. Come around, right? I'm thinking like, okay, there is no slowdown. You really have to like just take your hand off of the thing. It was a break on there, but it, like I, it wasn't breaking like I thought it was going to be in a car. You know what I'm saying? Like I could just pull it up, hit the brake, boop, and I'm done. Like no, like I'm in the water. This jet ski got to like, you know, sail on on. So I'm like, okay, I'm going to take my hand off of the thing. But then when I came in, he was like, no time not up yet. You still got time. You could go back out. So I say, all right, cool. I accelerate a little bit to go back like to go to turn back out man when i fucking accelerated that bitch was like Ew! and i like saw that it's, it was going a little too fast and the wall was kind of close so i took my hand off of it thinking it's just gonna either stop or slow down hell no nah. that bitch was right into the wall like Ew! and it was like everybody at the park heard the like crash sound Darling, like, bitch. 
I know how to say I work with this hoe, and I will tell the niggas that you know me. So me and Darling, we laughing about all of this shit, but also real shit, like, that shit really did shake me the fuck up, because I'm like, damn, this shit, it, it, was, it was going fast, but it wasn't, like, when I was out in the water and it was open, like, that shit was fun. Like, it took a little strength for me to hold on. I did feel like I was gonna fly off a couple times. I was like, I'm finna hold the fuck on, and we finna sit the fuck back, and I'm finna be smooth. So then we get off, right? We get on the money and shit. Now, darling and them had, we had already paid for the time or whatever. We was like, you know, is this, can you still drive it and all this shit like that? They claimed that we cracked it. I don't think we did. It definitely had a scratch. Darling and her cousin, they got on, they took their little time or whatever, and then we got off, and then we decided, like, you know what, let's just go to the castle. But also, real shit, when Darling first told me that it was the cartel, I'm like, bitch, I don't believe you. These niggas will not just be hanging out like this. Or maybe that's just, like, the culture over there, like, no, nah, the cartel really just be outside kicking it. But it's like, when shit go up, then, then it's time to call. Like, then then motherfuckers just gonna start coming out of nowhere. But this is the thing, though. Darling had told me it was this guy that was off to the side, right? He chilling. His kids out there. It's like, you know, people out there, you know, they love families and shit. So, Darling, like, see that guy over there and i was like yeah what about him she like he the ringleader of all the motherfuckers that's out here i said how you know she said trust me i know and then what was crazy is that when we crashed when i crashed i ain't gonna say we when i crashed the guy who helped me get it started and you know got me situated and everything like that he went to go talk to the guy that darling said was running shit which was crazy to me because I'm like, damn, darling was right. Like, he the ringleader. So he go talk to him. The guy saw that it was an accident. You know, he, he, he really wasn't tripping over it or no shit like that. But he said whatever he said. And then the guy came back like, you know, it, we just glad that she okay. Um, but it's no cause. And that was pretty much it. The guy ended up, I think he came over there where, where we was at or some shit like that. Either way, they communicated it. And my man's was like, just come up off some bread. So we was like, okay, cool. They was cool about it and shit. They just kept saying, we just glad you okay. But they had like more than one jet ski. I had like two or three of them or some shit like that. So it was cool, but a bitch was scared. I ain't gonna hold you. A bitch was scared, honey. But yeah, so that was my little experience while I was in Guatemala. And then after that, we decided that we wanted to take a tour into the castle that was nearby so if y'all are ready for part three tap the fuck in if you like this video go ahead and give it a thumbs up comment like and subscribe and i will catch y'all on the flip side peace out